Hello, this is Elizabeth from the Westerville Public Library, and today I'd like to talk to you about genealogy resources that you may access for free with your library card. I'm an adult services librarian here at the library, and I provide reference support and teach ancestry in a few of the other technology classes. Please feel free to contact us at the library if you would like support with your research, and please feel free to contact me directly. Before we begin, I thought we'd talk about what exactly is genealogy. The primary objective is generally to find a specific person at a specific place at a specific time. It's a hobby enjoyed by millions and includes a wide variety of interests, from local history to military history to the more creative types who like to scrapbook and build the creative aspects. One of the questions we receive most often is where do I start with my research? We suggest starting with the library subscriptions and resources that include Ancestry Library Edition, Family Search, Fold 3 Military, Heritage Quest Collection, and more. Ancestry Library Edition is an excellent starting place. Generally, this is available for in-library use only, on library computers, or on your own device connected to our Wi-Fi. As a courtesy, during the health quarantine, Ancestry Library Edition is available for home use. This is expected to last through May 2020. The Ancestry Library Edition includes U.S. and state census records, vital records, immigration records, and more. It offers the most records, historical documents, and user-submitted family trees. There are records from the U.S. that are available elsewhere. There are also some worldwide records connections to other databases. FamilySearch is another database and this one is accessible from home. It is free but you'll be prompted for an email address and password. You'll then be able to search for your ancestors in millions of historical records, search family trees, civil registration records, probate, land records, family histories, and more. This database is operated by the LDS Church in conjunction with their family history centers. Many of the records are now digitized and searchable, and you may continue to access records through their hundreds of family history centers, all for free. Fold 3 Military History is a database that enables us to create memorials to our loved ones to look for military records, draft cards, and more. You can commemorate your relatives, you can look at pension files, war records, international war records, service awards and honors, and so much more. The Heritage Co Collection is also available remotely, and this includes unique family resources going back to the 1700s. You can discover your family history with an easy to search collection, there are census records, family and local histories, local history articles, and more. There's a parallel component to this that is the African American Heritage Collection, which brings together records critical to African American family research and support resources and guides. We also have access to the Sanborn insurance maps, which are historical maps to look for town and city changes, building outlines, boundaries, and more. Additionally, on our website, you may access the Columbus Dis Dispatch, and I'd like to mention that we do have a local history department on site at the library with a team of experts specifically to Westerville and local history. There are some additional resources you might be interested in, including access to historical photographs, local historical organizations, and some additional resources in the greater Columbus area and throughout Ohio. A few research tips for you before you start is to try to write down everything you know and ask your relatives to do the same. This is a great opportunity to collect an oral history from your relatives. If you write out the month when recording a date to conf avoid confusion later, and always use four digits when you're writing down the year. Do what you can to compile what you have, and we can help you put it all together. A reminder, if you do not have a library card, we can provide one for you and help you access books, magazines, newspapers, art, and more. And again, you can access our genealogy databases, and we also have access to consumer reports, legal documents, business and company research. I hope you have enjoyed this brief tour of our collections, and we look forward to seeing you at the library. Thank you.